I did a study because this was so interesting to me. What is the difference between normal imaginative play and a child who begins to get into dissociative experiences? So I actually developed an imaginary friends interview and I compared children in the hospital that had these various persona that were taking over and making them do things they didn't want and compare them with children who were normal children in preschools who had very vivid imaginary friends. And I found some very key differences. For one thing, the children who were in the hospital were more likely to have conflicting ones, uh, a good little guy and a bad little guy that they could hear the arguments in their mind. They were also more likely to be bossed by that voice in their mind, making them do something they don't wanna do. And they were more likely to say they didn't like it and they wanted it to go away. Whereas the children in the preschools and kindergarten, they liked it, they thought it was fun. And the other thing was the kids who were in the hospital when they had it, they considered it real. If you ask them, is it just your imagination or is that really there? They tended to say it was really there. It wasn't just their imagination. So there were ways that we could distinguish them, but again, it's not 100% and 100%. It's a bit of a continuum. And you look about how many of these more, let's say pathological signs, the child has in order to make a diagnosis.